Hello. Hola. Que tal? What's happening team? It's Natalia, aka Nat, your host for this evening's Wellness for Wealth TV. Life Charges with Nat is still happening, but I'm kind of taking a moment to rebrand this segment because it feels right. It's funny because it all kind of got kicked off at a at a reunion with a few girlfriends from a business retreat that I went on. I think it was last November when I was visiting my cousin in London um, when he just had his baby. They had just had their baby. Anyway, we were talking about it and I was like, yeah, wellness for wealth, wellness for wealth. Because if you'll notice, everything that I've been doing is around wellness. And it's because of my wellness coaching certification, absolutely. But it's also because I've learned this Wellness 360 philosophy. So I'm incorporating it in everything. I'm incorporating it more so because it really is the foundation to everything. It really is the key to unlocking wealth in all areas of your life. And wealth is not just about money. It's about having better relationships. It's about having, you know, a better career. It's about having um, better, it is about having better finances. It's about being healthier. It's about making, so so here's, here's a general definition of wellness. It's a state of being. It's becoming aware of, this is, it's an active process of becoming aware of and making choices towards a healthier, more fulfilling life. Okay, so that's kind of the little stuff that's been going on with this segment. And if you'll notice, last month we talked about purpose. This month we're talking about relationships. It's February, I thought, you know, why not? But I'm really going to be focusing on um, the relationship with yourself a lot. And uh, I'm totally going to spin after, so that's got this going on this look but um anyway you're too nice tell me give me some hearts if you have heard this i can't see who's on um so just let me know if you're here and if you are catching the replay just give me a hashtag replay so i can come and say hello you know i love these to be interactive so ask me questions as they come up but you're too nice who else has been given that or told that along the way. I know I've been hearing it all of my life and I want to dispel just a few myths tonight because my response to that is how can that be? It's impossible to be too nice. The dictionary defines nice as being friendly, polite, and I know there's one more kind, polite, and friendly. How can you have too much kindness, too much politeness, and too much friendliness? I mean, if you turn on the television and there was, and everyone was being too nice, I think that you would see a lot of, uh, I think that you would see very different stories. You know, give me some hearts if you agree with this, because I know that it can't just be me. Like, so, what I think is interesting is that we've somehow confused what being too nice is. And so I want to really talk about this today because I totally disagree when people say that you're too nice and it's taken as a negative. I know I used to, so this is why I'm bringing this up right now. And it wasn't that I was too nice. There was a whole other, there was a whole lot of other stuff going on, which we'll get to. But um, I'm just looking at my notes, sorry, team. But um, you know, let's get back to you for a second. So, because because what I'm talking about here is how to create more balance in your relationship life element, and the relationship life element is one of twelve. Okay. Um, 
It's what we're focusing on. So you know when your relationships are going well, and I'm, I'm talking romantically, I'm talking like with your parents, with your family, with your loved ones, with your friends, with your family, at the bank, wherever you are. When your relationships are awesome, generally you feel awesome. You make good choices, you make good life decisions, you generally make more money. It's just a fact. Hey, Sakshi. And um, so the problem, the challenge is, is that if you fail to set boundaries with people, if you avoid challenging conversations because you don't want to hurt someone's feelings, if you refuse to say no because, you know, you just feel bad, but you know that you should, or if you accept all kinds of unacceptable behavior because you're afraid of having a difficult conversation again or confrontation, then, you know, that has nothing to do with you being too nice. Nothing at all. Um, you're doing these things because you don't have good solid relationship with yourself. You don't have balance on the inside. On the ins like, you know, when I when I was learning about NLP, neurolinguistic programming, your dialogue is everything. So the way you speak to yourself, the way you um, think about yourself, anywhere from like body image to you know what your beliefs are, to what your thoughts are. You are in control of all of that stuff. That's why I'm always talking about getting back in the CEO position of your life because you are in control of so much more than you realize. You control your thoughts, you control your behaviors, you control your feelings. I know sometimes it doesn't feel like that. <laughs> um, and it takes practice. It's It does take practice. And so it was funny because I was listening to Dr. Sasha Shillicutt, and she's an amazing woman. She's the founder of um, Brave Enough, and it's a it's an organization for medical professionals, and it's 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 geared towards women medical professionals for a whole slew of reasons. But she, she I heard a TED talk. I, I I had the link out there today so that you could go and catch it. But she talks about resilience. And she talks about, um, you know, women in general, right? Not everybody, but in general, we, we are perfectionists. We like things to be perfect. We want to be everywhere. We want to be everything to everyone. And a lot of the times that costs us, um, that costs us our own happiness because we are not being true to our values. We're not um, being true to our worth. Um, and so we feel bad about ourselves. You feel bad about yourself. You make poor life decision, make, make poor lifestyle choices, and you don't make the money you deserve to make because, and then you get to a point where you feel burnt out and you're like, forget it. I'm, I'm quitting. I'm out. Don't get to this point because it's really easy to get to this point if you let that other stuff get to you if you let it get out of control so you know there is nothing nice about failing to love and honor yourself just like there's nothing nice about you know not being consistently nice to others you can't be so selectively nice so if you're if you're one of those people that are too nice keep being too nice there's nothing wrong with being too kind, polite, and friendly. Don't, con don't confuse those things. Don't confuse them. Um, and sorry, I'm just looking at my notes quickly. Do, do, do. So, um, you know, you need to be truly kind, polite, and friendly to people on a consistent basis. Right, and that is, and that's including being nice to you. That's including being nice to how you speak to yourself. 
Um, you know, if you make a mistake, it's like, what can I learn from this? You did your best. Not like, oh, you're such an idiot. Don't ever do that again. Like that is not being nice to you. And that, you know, is not a way to, to get in that growth mindset. Um, and that means respectfully standing up for yourself, respectfully standing up for your values. Um, respecting your boundaries, saying no, not just because, you know, no, but because you're saying yes to you. Um, not shying away or being afraid of crucial conversations because, I mean, let's face it, those conversations are never great. <laughs> but the longer that you hold on them, the longer that you don't have those crucial conversations, those difficult conversations, the worse it's going to get. It doesn't get easier the longer you wait. And there's ways to, you know, get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Sometimes I've gotten to the point where I've actually planned out the conversation as best as I could. You know, what do I want to achieve out of this conversation? What are, how are, how do I think they're going to react to this? What, how are they, where are they coming from so that I can maybe use a different language that can help them, um, that can help guide the conversation in a more constructive manner. You can't control other people. I'm not saying that, um, you know, just because you plan a conversation, it's going to go exactly how you want it but you can at least start to anticipate and put yourself in the situation and try to think of different angles and how you can respond so that you're, you're coming from a place that's not emotional. You're coming from a place that's calm, cool, and collected. Um, and you know, the other thing is that you want to walk away from toxic relationships because you know, they can destroy your happiness, your um, sanity, and your health, quite frankly. You know, I was in such a toxic relationship years ago, and it got to a point where I broke out into hives, like my body physically responded to the stress. And it's never happened to me again, and you know, I hope it never does, but it's amazing what will come up for you in terms of signals when your relationships either with yourself or with others are not serving you. Um, and so, I mean, I had to cut that person out of my life and that's going to happen throughout life. You're going to come across people that are with you or they're not with you and that's okay. Um, just don't confuse dishonoring or not loving yourself with being too nice. It's just, they're just so completely different from one another. And there's no way to be too kind, too polite, too friendly to yourself or, to, or anyone else for that matter. Because, you know, we should all be striving to be too nice. And... <laughs> You know, if I asked you, are, are you too nice because you smile a lot, because you hug people a lot, are you a hugger, <laughs> because you talk to strangers, because you're consistently friendly and kind to service professionals, because you're willing and happily wanting to give your time and your expertise to others, to help others. Are you being too nice because you have the ability to connect with people almost instantly? Are you being too nice because you feel a deep sense of empathy when other people are in pain or they're suffering? Are you feeling, are you, are you too nice because you, you know, you're genuinely happy and you're genuinely positive? No, <laughs> no, you're, you're not too nice because of all those things that's you you everyone has a unique brilliance you have a unique brilliance and when we shine we shine brighter together and I really want to leave you with that because you know it's when our light is dim that you know you're not able to show up the way we need you to show up the way the world needs you to show up 
And it doesn't, it doesn't matter about us if you yourself are not happy, if you yourself are not feeling fulfilled, because we're all in this together. You know, life is, life is sometimes not easy. And, um, you know, we all need to be supporting one another. And that's why I'm so passionate about this movement that I want to create, this wellness movement, because when we are healthy from the inside out, when we feel unstoppable, there is literally no stopping us. We can achieve anything we want. We can get have the have the relationships we want. We can have the career that we want. We can have the finance that we want. We can have we can have it all. Maybe not all at once, but we can have it all. Um, and you know, if if you are all those things that I said, then you are a game changer, and the world needs you. And like I said, when we shine, we shine brighter together. So. Go on and be too nice. Make sure that you understand the difference between being too nice and, you know, not loving yourself enough to, you know, have boundaries, to say no when you need to say no, just to, to say no when you need to say yes to you. And, um, you know, if, yeah, if you are, if you are all those things, and you're making a difference, then you are making this world a better place and you're making it a better place with your love and your light. So I'm going to leave you with that. If you're just joining, catch the replay because I really, it's a really important message. Don't confuse being too nice with not loving yourself enough. Okay. I'm going to love you and leave you right now. And I hope you're all having a great week so far. You know where to find me if you need me. Um, and you know that I have a free group that I'm always looking for you to come and join because we do lots of great stuff in there. But anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you. I'm going to head to spin soon. And I will see you next week. Bye.